Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's feeling the vibe, the vibe of Beastmas returning, the vibe of actually trading being implemented into Beastwarm Simulator. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, if you don't know this channel, if you've never seen a video of mine, you probably don't know that I was actually a very, very high rank player. I was a pro, uh, the, the proof is still on the channel, but we did, after some time, abandon the game uh, because there were no updates, nothing was happening. I mean, we know that these are like seasonal updates, dates and stuff but it just got boring and um i lost my account i lost my roblox account the entire uh, account got poofed out of the way um but we're back and i wanted to do a little bit um of a series here from noob to pro kind of thing uh telling you along the way what i've done to get there so we're gonna be checking that out again uh right about now so i only have about 38 million honey i just spent 250 mils on this backpack and well basically i've played about one day in this game and i think for one day we've done some great 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 um progress on the account i'm gonna show you this uh the the playtime where is it at? Uh, I don't know. I can't find it right now. Can you see it? So it's about one day and one hour and 47 minutes. Uh, I think it's appropriate to make a video on that. And I think I've made some great, great, great um, improvements. When I'm on a field, on a good field, currently it's mountaintop for me. Um, when I'm on a field, I can make, I can pull like 200k a second, which is still very, very much for early game. Uh, as far as I believe, I still have a little bit, you know, a few tips up my sleeves when it comes to the beehive and how I actually um, made a good hybrid beehive. I already worked on some amulets, as you can see, got the moon amulet, got the gold gold and amulet got the bronze star amulet that is soon to be silver um we have the bucko guard uh we have the beekeeper's boots we have the mondo belt so everything started off right over here where i'm starting so i'm gonna tell you my way how i did things and um, then how i got to this point obviously grinding is involved as you can see i've been grinding for days now and that's what you get right i've been just grinding those uh black beer quests uh also a little bit of mother beer for for the star treat or whatever no it wasn't a star treat it was like a star egg or something uh, for me very important was that i'm uh starting to rack up those gifteds as quick as possible and that i also uh trying to replace a few bees that you do not want in your hive especially in the beginning so i'm gonna show you uh which ones those are i already made a video like a year or two years ago on this um but i think right now there's a lot of new players coming in and you might actually enjoy this i was very lucky to draw a bouillon bee which is really good for the blessings i can get up to blessing seven let me refresh that real quick um and there's some really, really lucky, lucky gifteds that I got in here because when you can keep doing the uh, the, the the quests and everything, uh, you will have a lot of chances to make them gifted. I was also lucky to draw a few gifteds from my uh, royal jelly uh, thingy, but I haven't necessarily focused on getting crazy good uh, bees right now. That's not on my uh, focus list. What was on my focus list though is um, kind of like replacing uh, a few bees that you do not want in the beginning of the early to mid to end game. You don't want some of those bees. And I'm gonna tell you which ones those are so basically every and any bee that is creating bomb tokens is something you don't want just because it fills up your uh, backpack so quick and you have to go uh, back and forth and that's just super super duper annoying so i'm gonna show you which ones those are um we have bomber bee you, you don't want the bomber bee in there brave bees are actually fine i'm gonna make a full guide on every single bee that is in here too which ones you want which ones you don't want um but uh basically anything that has bomb tokens in it you don't want i was a little bit unlucky that i actually got a rascal bee i think it's this one um, it's it's a gifted one that's why I keep it and I do get bombs from it but if I could really replace it easily um, I would but I'm just keeping it right now because it's gifted there's also another one that I have in here uh, I think it's the bubble bee uh, if we go to the bubble bee you see there's the blue bomb in there as well you know I'm, I'm just gonna keep it for now but as soon as I have my whole hive gifted I'm definitely gonna start replacing them but especially in the early game getting any kind of bee gifted is really really good so if you get anything gifted in the beginning just keep it and you can replace it later on once things are gonna get much easier because uh, the good old uh, Royal Jellies is gonna uh, cap at uh, t I think 10 mils or something let's see 10 million and then you can just like buy oh my god that was a terrible jump uh, and then we're gonna buy uh, just tons of Royal Jellies and then you know as you can see here for 10 uh, Royal Jellies it's gonna be 10 million and uh, it's about for 100 Royal Jellies gonna be 100 million and it's gonna cap at that which means later on we're gonna make so much more money and we can just buy them Royal Jellies until gifted or until mythic so so, 
Um, let's go back to the hive and see what else bees uh, you want to avoid. So in the beginning, uh, I would tell you the brave bee is actually really good. It's going to give you, uh, especially if you have it gifted, it's going to give you plus one bee attack, which you need. Um, but other than that, you can like keep one or two. I don't actually fill out my, uh, my, my, like some people say, oh, you got to have a lot of them so you can do some damage and stuff. But I actually disagree. You don't need to do as much damage as you might think in the beginning of your journey in bee swarm simulator. So just keep it down to like one or two. You don't want to have more than those. Uh, like I said, bumble bee goes uh cool bee can stay because you want blue boosts they are always good to have um very very good to have uh, hasty bees for the hasty tokens you're also gonna get haste uh, uh quests later on so i'm actually gonna stock up on a hasty bee i right now only have one but i will be stocking up on a hasty bee to have a little bit more uh speed in the game because i notice i guess one hasty bee does it you know does the job fine but i notice that sometimes i just don't get those hasty tokens and i'm just losing my speed and i'm just gonna to probably you know bump it up to two uh and also having it gifted would be a very nice addition to that of course the star of the show the star of any you know early mid end game looker bees are always good those focus tokens are gonna help you so much you're gonna gain uh gain critical chance for 20 seconds it's gonna rack up to 10 times you're gonna get critical hits increased pollen and damage by 100 percent these focus tokens they're super important so i can only uh, assure you you will need those make sure to keep them uh i have about six looker bees there used to be like a debate if you should only have five or six or four i'm gonna stack uh, stick with six right now and i even have one uh gifted which is gonna give me a gifted hive bonus of 25 percent critical power very very powerful stuff um rad bee very good to keep for the red boost you know it's kind of like the same as the blue uh bees because you're gonna have a bumblebee you have a one that you don't want which is in this case is the bumblebee and the rascal bee. and the ones that you do want is the rad bee and the cool bee i actually have the rad bee um, which where is it? There it is. I actually have it gifted. Uh, very important. It's going to give you 15% red pollen boost. So make sure to have those stacked up in there. Uh, again, you don't want the rascal bee. It doesn't really go far in this case. Um, try to if, if you have it like me gifted, you can keep it. Otherwise, don't. Stubborn bee. Another bee that you need to stock up on. Specially gifted. Uh, very strong stuff. It's going to give you the pollen mark, which randomly uh, is going to cause an area um, for 7 seconds seconds that increases all pollen by 50% um, while you stand in it. Very strong, but don't have too many in that. Stubborn is not the one that you want. Um, stubborn is good to have. If you have it gifted even better, it's going to give you ability token lifespan because in the beginning, those tokens go away very fast. Um, then we have the bubble bee and the bucko bee. Uh, again, bubble bee, I have it uh, gifted as far as I believe. Yeah, that's why I have it. Otherwise, I would have replaced it um, because it does have the blue bomb. So it's quite a lot of blue bombs and bombs, but you know, this is early game. Early game, you're fine with it. I can stay Stack up those 100 mils, man. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, um, yeah. Bubble bee. Keep it for now if you have it. Uh, gift it if you don't. Replace it. And then we have the bucko bee. Very important. I have it. I actually just drew it. Very, very good um, in, uh, you know, in gifted, which means it gives me 20% uh, blue field capacity. Super important stuff. You're going to notice very early on that uh, this capacity thing is so annoying. It really is. That's why the first thing I always say for is the backpacks, man, <laughs> and anything that gives me capacity, like the belts and stuff. But I'm going to talk about that in another episode. Uh, we have the bucko bee in here again. Got it gifted too. Oh, wait, was I not talking about the bucko bee? Yeah, I think I was talking about the bucko bee right now. What am I doing here? Um, Commander bee something um you can think about i would keep it out because of the buzz bomb um it does generate focus token as well but you don't need necessarily that just keep it in because of the looker bee is going to do all of the job for you and um yeah just keep the commander bee out even the gifted hive bonus is not really worth talking about but three percent critical chance is like meh so just keep the uh, commander bee out i don't necessarily think it's that strong so Next one, demo B, same thing. You don't want that. I don't know. Some people talk to you, talk to me, and they were like, "Yeah, but bomb decks, like bomb bomb hives, are so good." They're not. They're really not. I, I we've tested it. We've tested for years. Oh, I can tell you, nah. Anyways, uh, exhausted B, um, very good token link. Uh, but it gives you the buzz bomb. But you can think about having it gifted. Um, if you don't have enough white field damage, 
uh, or capacity. It will give you the wide field capacity as gifted, but uh, just in my case, I'll keep it out for now. Token link is good, um, but in general, uh, you can already generate that otherwise. So let's just keep it out for now. Fire bee is another thing that I keep out. It just does everything I'm against. Um, flame pollen is pretty cool if you have uh, a red hive. I don't recommend a red hive. Blue hives are still thriving, so I don't rec uh, recommend it. It's still red bombs, so I'm just going to keep them out as well. Frosty bee, same thing. It does give you blue boost, but you don't want the bomb and the bomb, so I'm just keeping that out as well. Uh, honey bee, very nice. Honey mark, super important. Very important. Getting honey mark so hard and you need that so if you can get up to like three honeybees and even gifted would be so so good so the honeybee very powerful stuff you should definitely gift that as soon as you can um rage bee again you know rage tokens and token link is fine it does give you a bee attack if you have it gifted i would keep it otherwise skip it and then of course the riley bee very important red field capacity gives you red boost no negative uh, on anything to when it comes to farming so keep that very very good like i, I keep about four usually but I, ex I recently exchanged it for two shock bees, which you can see here. It's going to give you haste tokens. It's going to give you token link. It's going to give you everything you need. And if you have it actually gifted, you're going to get 25% white pollen. Very, very good bee. Now we're going to come to the legendaries. How many minutes are we in? Oh, 11 minutes already. That's crazy. Um, okay, so baby bee, probably one of the most top tier S tier bees in the game. Uh, it's going to give you ba uh, baby love, which is going to grant you times two pollen. Uh, 50 percent loot luck for 30 seconds loot luck increased your chance of blah 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 and it's also going to give you if you have it gifted uh 25 percent loot luck very important b keep it very strong then we have the carpenter b another one of those s tier b's pollen from tools is okay but the honey mark and the pollen mark at the same time so important man like i'm gonna have like four to five carpenter bees in the deck man this stuff is really really good so try to go for the carpenter bees even if you get a gifted even better um demon bee i would keep out just too much negatives uh flames bombs bombs here bombs there instant bombs here probably the worst in my uh, opinion so uh yeah if you're not a, if, i mean if you're a red hive and you're into that bomb kind of full backpack really fast because the, initially what we want to do is we want to fill up the backpack slow but instant convert the honey fast so it's going to go straight onto our account that's like my uh, game plan in this game then we have the diamond bee which is okay um if you have it gifted it's even better you're gonna get a convert that's exactly what we want um blue boost honey gift and shimmering honey very good stuff you can read through it so keep it don't have too many um if you have one or two that's fine but other than that i would get rid of the other ones lion bee don't have it discovered yet you don't really need it unless you want to do damage if you really just want to if you if you go red hive and you want to destroy the stump snails fast and all the bosses fast and stuff like that then this bee is good but if you just really want to go out and farm honey to like get the fastest the best in the game yeah whatever another s tier b is the music b very strong 25 percent pollen from bee gathering you have melody very strong focus very strong token very strong probably uh, in there in the top three or four best bees uh, legendary bees ever man like music bees really really good uh, ninja bee again does give you haste token but it does have um blue bomb and nobody really needs bee movement honestly keep it out you don't really need ninja uh same goes for the shy uh bomb again nectar lover might actually be pretty good um but again i'm not using it not using shy maybe maybe if you want to have the five percent bee ability pollen then you could go for it uh gift it but only once and then we're going to talk about the mythics you know what actually i'm going to talk about the mythics and the event bees in the second part because this video is going to go so long because i have so much information uh, information to give you guys after all of those years um and yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode in the next episode, we're going to talk about the Mythic Bees, which ones you should be going for, which ones you might want to avoid. Um, same goes for the Event Bees. I know right now my, my inventory doesn't look that strong because I'm literally in the early game. But I will tell you, you will see this... Uh, character progress like Superman like so fast it's gonna you know it's gonna blow your mind anyways thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel because I am dropping high quality stuff a lot of information here for you guys so yeah I'll see you in the next one peace out